it's really easy to look around and be like, they got a rule book I was not given and they got an instruction manual and how do I get mine? I felt like everybody around me got a user manual for how to be a human and I did not receive that user manual. And as a result, I felt like an alien. I didn't know how to have intimacy. I didn't know how to build friendships. I would observe other people and just make my best guess. And sometimes I was successful and sometimes I wasn't. And I didn't really know what that meant. There's a lot of complexity in being human. There's a whole spectrum of neurotypical to neurodivergence. There are learning disabilities. There are cultural exposures or lack of cultural exposures. There are gender differences in how you were socialized. It's a big pot and we're all here to learn the same thing. We're all here to get better at communicating. We're all here to learn to feel at a more nuanced level or to feel it all and to be able to tell the difference between a thought and a feeling and a physical sensation and a feeling. And sometimes they're connected. In fact, oftentimes they are. You're gonna create your own manual for yourself at the end of this program, actually throughout the program, of what are my clues that I am destabilized in some way? I'm dysregulated. You're gonna know that. You're gonna know that by the third call, most likely. And what are maybe some needs that I have that I didn't know that I had that were maybe never given to me when I was a child or a young adult or never had modeled in my society and so I never knew to get it or ask for it. You're gonna learn a lot of new words, hopefully, to describe your emotional landscape. And it's with that information that you put into place your own user guide. The point is actually to not find the universal user manual for how to be a human, it's to find the one that's unique for you. And you have a unique set of needs. You have a reactivity blueprint that is unique to you. You are more likely to recognize your patterns than anybody else, though some of your intimate relationships, other people might be able to recognize your patterns for you too. With your emotional protocol, you'll have a strategy for what to do to both reverse your way out of an activation and also start to realign your life so that you have the space to become more self-aware and more conscious and also more masterful in your communication. It's not as linear as it can easily sound. The reality is, is that it's impossible to have 100% of your needs met 100% of the time unless you are living in an incredibly controlled environment and probably manipulating other people <laughs> or you're alone, in which case you're probably not getting your human interaction needs met. So you're still not getting 100% of your needs met. The goal is not to aim for perfection and flawless execution. It's really to be aware so that you're making conscious evaluative decisions about where you're going to put your time and your energy so that you are able to show up present, compassionate, humble, and attuned to a room 